Hey, hey, it's Jason ODB, and we're going to try something a little bit different. Typically, the flip-throughs get to be pretty long, and sometimes people just want a short video based upon uh, a particular truck or a magazine or feature. So, want to do a quick look back at June. So, I think 20 years ago almost, well, a little more than, June 2002... You had this epic cover, basically trends manufacturing. So you had the lifted excursion with those billet bars and the new school Chevy at the time, now referred to as what, NBS, new body style. I can't keep up with all those acronyms. I think that's the last one and it's new, 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 new. Come on, got to come up with some new names, right? So let's look at this one though. Uh, page 116, you have Carrie Cunningham's Dually, which is affectionately uh, nicknamed Duck. And we got a little bit of a glare here. There you go. Now, we've had Duck on, and we talked about the many phases of this truck. I was fortunate to see it on a lot of shows, whether it be from here in Tampa, Panama City, Showfest, you name it. Uh, I got a chance to see it a good bit. This is the feature that Travis did on the truck. Um, I think it was shot in November of 2001, if I remember correctly. And you can see here at the time, Duck was in Down to Earth. I know right where this was shot at the fairgrounds. And uh, kind of a cool different feature that they did here because they did that front three-quarter shot coming across the two pages. And then they had, uh, you see the little graphic there that they kind of put in, and that is from the hood, the Darkwing Duck. Now, it's, it is a pretty good feature for, you know, not being a, a cover, if you will, at this time. You can see there, they're talking about the Escalade front clip. Real clean engine bay. Kind of go through this in case you need to uh, see any of the details about it. Now, remember, we're going to continue doing the flip-throughs for Mini Truck and Magazine. But this is just kind of a, a teaser of, <clears throat> excuse me, what's more to come. You can see there he had DTE or uh, down number two, Roman numeral E, which was down to earth. And you can see a better shot there of the hood. True Customs, that was on there for a while, I believe. And there you go, five page feature. He always changed things up as we talked about when he was on the podcast. There you can see, I believe it's a Colorado Custom Steering Wheel. You got the pods, those were super popular. Not only does he have the pods there, but if you look, the driver's side in the airbag area has the Escalade door handles. He's got the uh, center console there, two-toned, and uh, behind the rear seat. Apologize for the glare. These new LEDs are pretty bright. You can see the uh, stereo. There's that front three-quarter shot. There's the rear. You can see that uh, they would use Photoshop in that era to kind of put some of their logos Truck and Magazine, of course. Tweed mentioned. So there you have it. Short feature, um, short video rather, on a killer truck. This one has pretty crazy legacy. It did end up on the cover of sh uh, Street Trucks, but uh, it had a good amount of features and a uh, salute to Duckman, NC, Louisiana. Stay on the rise. Hope you guys appreciate the shorter video. We out to you.